Okay, welcome back everyone, Zafir, to yet another juicy Soul Level Rise video. As you know, power is so important in this game, you always want to make sure you're fairly close to the recommended total power, so let me show you a very interesting trick to basically boost your power with little to no change and no negative influences to your overall run. This is specifically for game modes where you're using Jinnu and 3 Hunters, so let me show you how to boost your power easily. Because as you know, when you fall under the total recommended power, if you're in the red, if you're in the white, you are losing out on damage because your crit rate and precision goes down. So that's why making sure you're above this number is so important, one of the most important factors in this game. But something that's even more important than your power is to support us on NetMarvel's free supporter program. This is how you get free codes from me directly. Once you go to the link down below and support us, you will get free codes over time. This season will have 5 codes, so far we've gotten 1 code to give out. That's why you have to make sure you support so you don't miss out on Essence Stones and also Hunter Weapon Designs, very important. These codes were for Season 3, we had 5 in Essence, Blessing Stone Chest, Gate Keys, Essence, Rune Fragments, and 1000 Essence, so make sure you support. And also make sure you subscribe as well, we're almost at the 100,000 subscriber mark. I know we can do it together, so press that button. That way our community hits the 100k milestone. Now let's go over this trick because you will not regret watching this video. This will 100% help you out for any Jinnu match. When you're short on power, use this trick. It'll definitely push you a tier or two when it comes to meeting the recommended total power. So let me show you. But first off, I want to show you why we use our hunters. This is what the trick relies on. When it comes to a Jinnu match mode, you're not using your hunters for their damage you're using them for their support skills. That's because that's all they really do. They jump in, use their support skills, and that's it. So let me show you. Let me hop in. It doesn't matter what game mode we choose. This will just highlight our example. So the lie can is at around 99% HP. I'll use you so hewn. You see their HP. It went down about, what is that, a percent or two? Not very much at all. If I use choice, same thing. From 97% all the way down to 95-ish. So around 2%. That's how much damage our hunters deal, at least in this game mode. So overall, not too much damage being applied. So if that's said, it doesn't really matter what artifact sets they're running. You want to make sure their artifact sets give them the most power possible, especially when you're at the cusp of meeting the power requirement. But do note, for every 1000 power you gain on a hunt, for example, that only translates to around a 65% total team power increase. So if I gained 1000 power on you so hewn, that would only provide a 650 bonus to our team power. Let me show you. And also let me show you the trick as well. So right now we're at 195410 power on you so hewn. You can see here. And our team total power is 793894. So let me now hop in and actually min max my you so hewn's artifacts. What we want is very simple. Although this is the optimal set, I do want to swap out the extra set for curse. Just because we can get the highest level possible, meaning more stats will be provided. And also we get the 8 set effect, giving us slightly more power, not too much though. So to attain the max power possible, I want to swap out my extra set to a set with even more levels on it. Because every single level does matter for artifacts, it gives us bonus subsets, which means more power being applied to our hunter. So in this case, let me swap all these out for curse, that way you can see what I'm talking about. And again, are you so hewn? was at 195,000 power. So let me swap all these out for Curse. I wouldn't go for the highest battle tier. That's not important. What you actually want is stats that affect your hunter. So in Yuso Hyun's case, crit damage, attack, defense pen, damage increase, those will all influence our power. So in this case, let's equip this. Our power will go down for now. That's just because we lose the extra set effect, going from the four set effect to two. But watch this once I swap out this bracelet. Let's pick this one for example. Again, these stats are much better, but if I equip it, our power will go up because the level is higher. We're getting higher subsets, meaning more power being applied. Same thing for our ring. Let me swap it to something random like this one here. Very simple. We did lose power that time because I lost the two set effect, but if I swap in one more curse, let's do this one. Equip, confirm, and watch this. Our power went up over 12,000. That's actually a substantial amount. We went from 195,410 to 208,502. And even if that isn't the optimal set, 
it still gives us more power, which is so important because our hunters don't deal damage in any Jin game mode. We use them for the passives, we use them for the sword skills, we use them for the power buff in this case. We went from 793,000 team power all the way to 802. So just by making this change, we gain close to 9,000 power. That's why this trick is so important. This would easily push anyone from the red or the white all the way to the white or the blue. So again, I have no idea why people don't mention this trick. It's so, so useful. And I did the calculation very quick, just so you can understand how this power gain translates to the steam power gain. So before you saw Hyun was at 195410, and now she's at 208502. That's a 13,092 power gain. But when it comes to our team total power, we only got 8,728, which is around 67% of our power gain. So just so you note, like I mentioned before, every 1,000 power you gain on a hunter is only around a 65% difference to your team total power, but still very, very substantial. If I did this on Choi as well, another 9,000 power being applied, which is quite a lot. So hopefully that helped you. Again, very easy to do. You just swap out your hunter artifact sets for something that provides more power. Specifically, you want to use a curse set, a greed set, etc. Because they're level 78, meaning more power is being applied from the subset bonuses here. I'll show an example just to show you why. If I look at gloves, for example, let's look at curse. So at level 78, we get 1,840. But if I swap to a set that's at level 75, let's take this right here. The solid foundation set. We're getting around a 125-ish less than the level 70 alternative. That's why the higher the artifact level is, the more power you'll gain from the owner's subset. So make sure you do this. This will really help you out when you're in a clutch to go from the red to the white, making sure you avoid all those lane penalties because they do affect your damage output, lowering your precision, lowering your crit rate. It does suck, so power is so, so important in this game. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. This does affect your battle tier as well. You can cheese it. That way you get the achievement rewards here as well. And you can make your power look even better if you want to show off to friends. So just a little tip. If that helped you out, of course, make sure to subscribe, drop a like on this video, and do support us on Netmarble Supporter Program. That way, of course, I can send you free codes. Again, we're number one for a reason, because I make sure every single supporter gets a code. On that note, this was your code King Zaf signing out.